Sometimes I get asked the story about hit the deck. Where did hit the deck come from and how did I come up with it? So I thought I'd share that with you. I did create hit the deck. It came right off the top of my pointy little head and it came from, I mean, it, I didn't do it without help. It came from um, a CrossFit thing. There was a CrossFit group that made a deck of cards with each of the CrossFit workouts, or I think named workouts. And this is going back to 07, 08. And um, it was a pretty revolutionary thing. And there weren't that many named workouts. I think there were quite a few actually. But they had taken most of the named workouts, put them on a deck of cards, and their thought was that, you know, the hopper principle of CrossFit, where they do sort of randomized stuff, they would just pull any one of those out of the deck and you ought to be able to do them. Now, I know people that were doing that as their daily workout, and that's how they would program. And I'm against that kind of thing. If, if I'm going to participate in exercise, I want it to go somewhere, and I need to get some very specific benefits of it. I'm not really here to work out. I'm here to get benefits of working out. And so a randomized approach doesn't work for me. You can't just throw shit against the wall and hope something sticks. That's, I mean, I guess eventually if you did enough exercise, you'd be able to cover it. But I also think you'd overwork something and overdevelop something else. And um, your program wouldn't be um, efficient, effective, and probably injury free. It, you'd, you'd end up with problems. Anyway, I disagreed with their premise, but I thought it was a pretty cool thing. I forget what they called it. Oh, the hopper deck. That's right. I wonder if they're even still around today. Anyway, I thought, um, man, it's a cool concept, but I need it balanced. And so I started thinking of ways to balance it. And that's when I figured out that if we do each card in a suit as numbered, the face cards as 10 and then um, aces as 15, they're 99 reps. And one of the things you'll find out about our workouts in general, the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday workouts have got 100 to 200 reps. Some days they're as high as 400. There are always exceptions to the rule. But when I saw that there were 400 reps with four different exercises, I was like, done. And I didn't have, back then, um, I didn't have a pull-up bar and I didn't have access to a pull-up bar. And so I just grabbed it and I created it without a pole in it. And to this day, hit the deck, my only regret with making hit the deck is that I didn't put a hole in, a pull, <laughs> a, a hole. That was Freudian. Anyway, yeah, it needs a pull in there. And today, if I created hit the deck, I'd probably put an Aussie pull-up instead of a burpee. And that would made it easier, but it would also made it more well-balanced. So when I pull hit the deck out, you know, that I've got polls coming at you throughout the week in different ways and it won't be today. And I regret that, but I also love that workout because it's such a GPP classic. And it's been knocked off a lot. I don't know if other people saw mine and knocked it off. I've seen it on The Biggest Loser. I saw a call hit the deck. They even used the same rep scheme that I did. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody saw that somewhere. Our website gets 60,000 to 100,000 hits a month. Maybe somebody stumbled on it onto it. Anyway, people ask me what the story behind Hit the Deck is and I thought I'd share it with you.